Hey everyone, today was really a special moment for not just Dolly, but for Cracker Barrel. Dolly's album, Going Gold, may not be a first for her, but it is for the Old Country Store. Dolly chatted about the album as well as all sorts of other topics, from bullying and homosexuality to a famous daughter taking the Opry stage. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. When An Evening with Dolly was released earlier this year, it was a first for the Old Country Store because you not only got a CD, but a DVD as well. Now the combo has marked another milestone, becoming the first ever Cracker Barrel album to go gold. Well, it's a big and whatever it looks like. During a reception to honor Parton, she talked about still being able to make history after so many years in the business. You never get tired of that. It makes you feel like every project you do, if somebody recognizes it, then that uh, makes it worthwhile. When you're talking to Dolly, it's easy to get off subject. Several topics were brought up, including Elvis Week and his daughter, Lisa Marie, taking the Opry stage later this month. I think it's great she's going to be on the Opry. I'm sure they'll welcome her with open arms. And, uh, of course, Elvis, I think, has had a, an influence or certainly an impact on everybody, including me. Thank you very much. Dolly also addressed several of her songs that have received honors this year. Jolene, Jolene. Rolling Stone magazine recognized her for Jolene. Jolene in every language, uh, even in Japan, there's singing it, Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. And the Library of Congress selected Code of Many Colors as one of 25 to be added to its national recording registry. My coat of many colors that my mama made for me. A song she says is now being used in schools to help with the issue of bullying. That was one of those special ones that I think God meant for me to write so it could help other people too. Dolly also talked about an independent documentary in which she allowed 17 of her songs to be played. From Hollywood to Dollywood takes you on a road trip where these gay brothers have one goal, meeting Dolly Parton in their quest for courage and acceptance. In our life we've always kind of sought out her acceptance. I think she would embrace that one part of us in our life that our mom doesn't embrace. I have a lot of gay fans because they know that I just accept people as they are. That's not my place to judge. I ain't God and I ain't running for office. <laughs> for more information on Dolly's Cracker Barrel album and that documentary, we have links up for you under the Music City Beat section of our webpage. And coming up at 10, more from Dolly Parton. Why she has been taking a break, the project out in November that Dolly's working on, and the country legend who she's writing for. Stacey McLeod, Fox 17 News.